Hi, my name is Ursula and welcome to the Bookala Review. This first video is just an introduction. We'll get to reviewing books in the next episode. But first, if I'm going to review books for you, I have to tell you why I love romance novels. I also need to tell you what my inspiration for this is. And finally, you're going to want to know how this works. But first, for you to understand why I love romance novels, I need to tell you a little bit more about myself, about my story. I am a sexual assault survivor. When I was a child, I was taken advantage of when my family was most vulnerable, when I was most vulnerable. I had to go through things and experience things that no child should ever have to. But I survived through the grace of God and my family. But the road has not been easy. And it has affected me my whole life. Growing up, because of what happened to me, I have had some hard times. I have suffered with PTSD, depression, anxiety an obsessive compulsive disorder. And for a long time, I didn't know how to deal with that. I didn't know how to deal with what happened to me. And so I started to self-medicate. But then a couple of years ago, I got sober and I started to get my life together. And I discovered my joy of romance novels. I've always loved romance novels. I've been reading since I was a kid. I've always been a book nerd. But when I got sober, I started to read again. And when you're a child and something so traumatic happens to you, it alters your view on relationships with another person. It affects how you see yourself and how you see sex and how you see love and even how you see affection toward another person. And for a long time, I didn't understand why my views were so different and start, until I started to actually deal with what happened to me. And when I did, I was when I started to read romance novels again. It helped me understand what the difference was between the two relationships. It helped show me the difference between a loving relationship and a non-consensual one. It helped show me the difference between a loving touch and not. It helped inspire me to realize that I deserved more out of a relationship with someone then and that I couldn't let what happened to me define me and let it rob me of a part of my life romance novels helped me see that as well as well as therapy but it was the community of romance novels that really helped me at a time where I needed it most. Which brings me to my inspiration of why I've decided to start this vlog. And you see, pretty early on in my sobriety, I read an article online about someone named Tosca Musk who was starting a streaming service and that was looking for founding members. But at the time I was so early on in my sobriety, there was no way I could have afforded to, afforded to help, even though I wanted to. But I followed them and as soon as I could, I signed up and I haven't been disappointed. You guys have been doing an awesome job and Tosca, oh my God, it's been doing amazing. And you see, why Passion Flicked has stood out for me for so long is what it stands for, is what Tosca stands for. She
she helped me realize, uh, along with romance novels, that I deserve more out of a sexual relationship than what my first experience was. Standing up and not being ashamed and demanding that I own my sexuality and that I take back what was stolen from me because it was. She helped me realize that I deserved more and that I want more and damn it, I'm going to have it. And for that, I thank you, Tosca. I have been reading novels so much since I've been sober, which I'm proud to say that in August will be four years. And it is because it has been four years that I realized I needed to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which was start this blog, start sharing why I love romance novels so much and to talk about them because I want to talk about them. Don't you ladies? Let's talk about some romance novels, okay? We're gonna talk about good ones. I mean, have you seen these titles? We're gonna get into all of them. Trust me. And that leads me into the last thing I wanna talk about today, which is how are these reviews gonna work? And then finally, what episode? What episode? We're going to talk about everything. But most of all, who we're going to talk about first. But first, every episode, which will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will talk about another book that I've read and I will talk about the author. And if I'm really obsessed, we'll talk probably about a couple other books I've read about that author. And of course, we'll talk about Passion Flix books, the ones I've read. We'll get into all of it. And at the end of every episode, we're going to rate the book from one to Passion Flix worthy. It's going to be great, ladies. I'm super excited about it. And talking about episodes this Tuesday, we are going to talk about one of my favorite authors right now. I have been obsessed with her lately. I have read so many of her books. The lovely and talented Kylie Scott. And most specifically, we are going to talk about her book, Repeat. It is amazing, ladies. You are going to love it. It has everything. It has drama. It is mystery. Someone gets stabbed. You'll never guess what's happening. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to get started. And since someone has got my attention, I should introduce you to. This is Rue. She's my gorgeous cat. She's a little obsessed with me, so I'm sure she's going to be in every episode. But anyway, Ladies, this has been long enough. I am super excited to get started. I can't wait to talk about books, to talk about passion flicks, to share my love of all things romance novels and how it has helped me and everything you guys can imagine and so much more. I love you guys. I'm so excited to get started. I hope you enjoy and I will see you on Tuesday when we talk about Kylie Scott. Bye.